The closing numbers on the markets today. At one point, the market fell uh, as if down a well over 700 points. Let's talk about the speed with which we are watching this market deteriorate. We read everywhere, essentially, down by four, five percent. We're down over 16 percent. Dow at the same time has fallen about 18 percent. The stock market is now down 21 percent. We're now down 43 percent. Was the worst day on Wall Street since the crash of 1987. What started in America last year has now spread to every part of the world. We're down 9%. Today, the ZDAX over in Frankfurt is down by 9%. The Paris market down by 9%. Austria, which was briefly suspended earlier on in the day, is down by nearly 11%. Cicero was right. We're in the last days of this country surviving. Next, Steve the Treasury runs the printing presses to print the dollars. So the dollars go into the Fed. Fed takes the dollars, buys Treasury bonds that the, tre the Treasury is used to raise money. When it goes back into the Fed, isn't this all kind of one big Ponzi scheme? This week, amid continued volatility in our markets, we learned that unemployment insurance claims rose to their highest levels since September 11th, 2001. We've lost jobs for 10 straight months. Nearly 1.2 million jobs this year, many of them in our struggling auto industry. And millions of our fellow citizens lie awake each night wondering how they're going to pay their bills, stay in their homes, and save for retirement. Make no mistake, this is the greatest economic challenge of our times. And while the road ahead will be long, and the work will be hard, I know that we can steer ourselves out of this crisis. Because here in America, we always rise to the moment, no matter how hard. And I am more hopeful than ever that America will rise once again. But we must act right now. Even as we dig ourselves out of this recession, we must also recognize that out of this economic crisis comes an opportunity to create new jobs, strengthen our middle class, and keep our economy competitive in the 21st century. And that starts with the kinds of long-term investments that we've neglected for too long. Doing all this will require not just new policies, but a new spirit of service and sacrifice, where each of us resolves to pitch in and work harder and look after not only ourselves, but each other. If this financial crisis has taught us anything, it's that we cannot have a thriving Wall Street while Main Street suffers. In this country, we rise or fall as one nation, as one people. And that's how we will meet the challenges of this time together.